Hello again, this is Matthew Miller from ZDNet Smartphones and Cell Phones blog and the Mobile Gadget here. Now that I've had a chance to walk through the basics of the T-Mobile G1 Android device and show you what comes loaded on the device, I'm going to walk you through a couple of the applications and games that I have loaded on here from the uh, Android market. And let's just go ahead and tap on that and go to the market. As you can see, there's a few things here in the market. It's divided by applications, games, then you can search and see your downloads. You can scroll around um, some of the ones that are featured up top. And if you tap on applications, and I am connected just via an edge connection right now in my house. As you can see, there's some different applications. You can scroll down through them, take, check them out. If you were to... Uh, find an application you wanted to try or wanted to see more information about simply tap on the application it tells a little bit about it there and you can scroll down if there's comments or anything on it so that's the app store let's go through a couple of the applications that I have um, one that I have loaded is a game Android says kinda like uh, Simon Pretty simple game as you can see, but kind of a fun game. Characters. If I was to set the menu here, we can go to the settings. You can actually set your speed. Right now it's just scaled, so as you get better, there's different modes. And sequence length. Wires with one, you can go all the way up to 30, which is a pretty crazy initial sequence length. Let's see, I also have AccuWeather loaded on here. As you can see, it gives my local weather. If I was to tap on the sun, it gives me uh, the next couple days out. Tap on the satellite image, it will retrieve and show me some satellite imagery. There you go. And you can also uh, click that to go to the, or tap that to go to the website and see some more weather information. I also have the Pro Football application. Now there's no games on or anything to, I'll be testing this tomorrow on Sunday to find out some more information about if it gives me real time status updates and things like that. But as you can see there is my team that's not doing so well this year. And if you tap on the team, you can also add any teams that you'd like. It's loading the schedule. It, uh, you can go through the new, oops, I looked at a pass game there. And there it shows me the pass game details, lots of information, pretty cool application. Trying to go back. It's going to go through each game. It doesn't allow me to just to go right home, so let's see if I can start it back up. No. Nope. Menu, let's see. There we go. Photos, news, football news, as you can see standings. Nice application for uh, those of us that are NFL football fans. We'll see if they have some more applications coming out in the future for other devices or other uh, sports. Let's go ahead and exit that one. Okay, so there's some applications. I've got some on here as well. Uh, there's Pac-Man which is a free game from Namco. I think it's actually going to be a ten dollar game, but uh, at this time, if you load it up, it's actually free. If we go into options, I'll show you some of the controls. You can use your trackball across the device to move. You can swipe your finger around on the display to move, or you can choose the accelerometer. And I quite haven't quite got that to work right because the accelerometer seems to want me to have it in a vertical mode and it doesn't seem to work quite right. I prefer the trackball. I'll go ahead and select the trackball. I'll leave the sound effects on and uh, let's go ahead and just show you the game. As you can see I'm at stage three and let's start the game. You can see down the bottom is your virtual joystick that shows you.
and that's Pac-Man. Let's see what else. Um, I've got a video player on here. Um, I'll actually show that in my other video that I'll, well, I've already shown. This is a bon, what is it? Bonsai Blast from uh, Glue Mobile. This is actually a very cool game. Reminds me of Zuma from Astroware. So there's different uh, games you can play, different settings. And you can see I'm uh, on the path here. There's a couple of unlocked worlds, it looks like, up there. i turn the sound down a little bit. You can kind of hear it's got a uh, Asian kind of sounds to it. Now this is kind of like Zuma. You have to shoot the, the ball down to get three in a row. And what you do is you tap where you would like the ball to go. You use the walls to bounce off. As you get three in a row, it blows up and, and brings them back again. It's pretty easy to play with your finger. It will pick up and get a little faster as you go around. <sighs> Missed it there. Got some nice graphics, um, some nice pleasant sounds. Uh oh, and I messed up. That's the end of the game. Go back to the beginning here. I'll just show you. There's some settings, music, sound, vibration on. And reset my progress. Alright, that's Bonsai Blast. Fun game. What else do I have on here that's a third party app? I think that's about it that I've got preloaded on the device. Let's tap in here and see if I haven't put any shortcuts on there. And, oh, I do have Compare Everywhere, which is a application for scanning. I believe it's a barcode scanner. And you can barcode scan with the camera and check prices. But I haven't, uh, haven't used that yet on the store. See what else we've got. It is not a oh a choreo as well. I just figured I'd try it out. It's a high rated game on the and on the Android market. This is uh, figuring out your carbon footprint. And there's path that you can plan your trips. Different things like that. And this one here is Inspire. You actually see other people's. Uh, feedback which is kind of cool to watch and you can tap on the people as you go through it'll automatically scroll through each person kind of give them a update on what their status is looks like a neat application could be useful and fun I'll have to try that sometime let's see what else we got on here Pro football oh quick list as well this is an application that lets you uh, just create a list and if you say add item in this mode in the portrait mode it actually lets you create a handwritten note if you switch over into landscape mode you put your finger there it's actually with uh, text you can't you can't write with your finger but you can enter text uh, with a keyboard for just taking quick notes Let's see what else do we have here for third party apps. And that's about it from the market store that I've uh, downloaded and tried out so far.